Today we are gathered to pay tribute to a man of great integrity, Professor Nimmi Briggs, who has recently passed on. Professor Briggs was not just a teacher, but a mentor to so many. He led a life well lived, using biblical principles as his guide and left behind a legacy that will inspire generations to come. I've only met Professor Briggs on one occasion some nine years ago at the launching of his book, uh, Nimmi Briggs at 70. But something happened on that occasion that's only ever happened one other time in my life. The first time was in my early 20s, when we were gathered in someone's home, a small gathering, where tributes were being paid to one of the community elders, someone I had never met before. But I had a deep and profound sense that I was in the presence of someone great, truly great, someone who has been made a real difference in our world and when I met Professor Briggs nine years ago at the launching of his book I felt exactly the same overwhelming sense this was an extraordinary uh, individual um, and I could definitely will say that the phrase a life well lived is well suited to him he's a man who has um, lived a life that has been impactful, a life which has made a difference, uh, a life that has left an indelible mark on the lives of those he had come in contact with. In the book of Proverbs, um, Proverbs chapter 20, um, verse 7, we are reminded that the righteous lead blameless lives, or in the King James Version, lies of integrity, and bless are their children after them. Professor Briggs embodied this truth, and his influence will continue to bless the lives of those he mentored. He lived a life of honesty, humility, and compassion, always striving to do what was right, even when it may have been difficult. He was a man of great wisdom and his insights into the human condition and the Christian faith will be sorely missed. In the Gospel of John, we read that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me, John 14 verse 6. Professor Briggs lived his life in accordance with this truth always seeking to follow Christ's example and to share his faith with others. He was a man of great courage and he never wavered in his commitment to the gospel. As Christians, we believe that death is not the end, but a transition to eternal life. In fact, in the book of Revelation, we read that God will wipe away every tear from our eyes and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain revelation 21 and verse 4. professor briggs has now entered into his glorious rest and we can take comfort in the knowledge that he is with his lord and savior mahatma gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service of others. Professor Briggs understood this truth and he dedicated his life to serving others. He was a man of great generosity and his kindness and compassion touched the lives of countless people. His legacy is a testament to the power of a life well lived and his influence will continue to shape dare I say the world for years to come in conclusion 
we honor the memory of uh, Professor Nimbis Briggs, a man of great integrity, a mentor to so many, a life well lived, as we mourn his passing, we take comfort in the knowledge that he has now entered eternal rest. Let us remember his example and strive to live our lives in accordance with the biblical principles that he embodied. May we all seek to follow the example of Christ and may we leave behind a legacy of love, compassion and service to others, just as Professor Briggs did. God bless you.